uh, let us look at the um, uh, when you're looking at the router which is providing uh, IPVPN uh, service let us look at how the control plane uh, looks this is basically a zoom in inside the uh, edge uh, router uh, if you see uh, towards the uh, left you have all the customer uh, edge uh, um, uh, routers and uh, you have the uh, pink customer the green customer and the blue uh, customer and they have the flexibility of choosing any routing protocol that they want uh, that they want and there is a separate routing domain which is a main requirement of uh, um, uh, VPN for each of these uh, uh, customers. Now if you want to exchange this uh, VPN specific information from one route, one provider edge router to another provider edge router, you use uh, the multi protocol IBGP and for that uh, you add the route distinguisher to each of the routes in the VRFs and you form this big VPN IPv4 uh, table and now this is the big routing table that gets exchanged across the edge uh, routers uh, and we saw how uh, the uh, route targets can be used to uniquely identify each of these uh, uh, VPN uh, routes. So when it goes from one BGP peer to another BGP peer uh, it uh, uh, takes these routes and depending on the color that is associated with each of the routes it puts them in the corresponding uh, VPN routing tables. So in, in this case when it comes, if you look at the right when the BGP updates come, uh, come to the uh, egress uh, uh, edge router it is going to put all the pink routes into pink VPN, green routes into the green VPN and blue routes into the blue VPN and then that in turn is going to establish connectivity with the remote uh, PDs. So this way all the uh, pink VPN customers can talk to each other, all the green VPN routes can talk to each other and all the blue VPNs can talk to each other. Now in the, uh, in the middle uh, we have to talk about the um, global routing tables that are uh, present. We need to be able to connect each of the provider routers to, uh, to each other and that is achieved through this uh, global IPv4 routing tables wherein you can be running your OSPF or ISS and then you are also running your MPLS uh, protocols to set up the uh, uh, tunnels. Uh, and this picture, uh, and the next slide is going to give more clarity. Uh, so you can see that uh, the MPLS protocols 